Here's my new Levita setup. Just recently, I have finished off the wheels that I had on these skates. So I'll put some new ones on here. The ones on the outside, the red ones, are 72 millimeters, and the ones on the inside are 80 millimeters. Typically, this skate needs 80 millimeters in the middle and 76s on the outside. But now that I have put 72s, it has offered me that extra rockered setup. This is something I haven't done before, so this will be something entirely new. And just to give you an idea of how rockered it is, these two wheels are touching and they kind of go back and forth. So most of the wear is going to be on the two middle wheels, not the outside. So if I lose my balance occasionally on this skate, I'm going to have to learn to deal with it. I have some wear already on these wheels. And let's see how this goes. Okay, so here are my skates. Here's the wheels with the rockered effect. Not all the wheels touch on the ground. From time to time, they do. Just to keep my balance. They do feel a little bit wobbly. It's definitely something new to me, so hope I don't fall. Again, these wheels are supposed to be 76s in the front and back, but I put 72. I have tried 76s before. You feel a little bit of a, a rocker effect, but not too much. Now I have increased that rocker effect just to try something new, see how I like it. And the stopping can be a little scaring at first. So, at the same time, I have another new setup. My new setup would be this microphone. I got this from Fry's Electronics. And I'm gonna be using it and testing it out as well. Whether or not it's gonna pick up a lot of wind, I don't know. It's got a windscreen on it. I'll put it on my left shoulder for now, just to see how it sounds. Even though I have this camera behind me, you can still hear me. So that's what I like about the setup. Wait for the cars to go by. I hope I don't breathe too much into the mic. I have gained a little bit of weight since I got back from the trip. I'm trying to work that weight off right now. One back up to 185. I want to get down to 175, 180.
I'm gonna take it slow at first because I don't wanna fall. If I'm not wrong, I assume these are uh, freestyle skates, meaning you can maneuver a lot easier in them. But man, keeping your balance is something else. Already, just from having them on for just a couple of minutes, I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. So I'm trying my best to uh, stay low and bend my knees because I don't wanna fall backwards. The stops are still good. Here's how they look on the side. See how the wheel's not even touching the ground in the front until I lean forward. I gotta get used to that. All this is is personal preference. People like their skates differently and some days I'm in the mood for something like this, some days I'm not. I can still stop safely, so that's the good thing about it. But my turning, man, it has improved dramatically with these. I could turn on, turn on a dime. Running through grass still feels the same. Having the energy to skate in these is very important. Because uh, if I was to sluggishly half do it, I might end up hurting myself. So today I feel like I have the right amount of energy to try something new. And at the same time, I'm going to be giving you kind of a tour of the neighborhood. I'm going to go down towards Edgebrook passing Freeway Manor Park. Here's Freeway Manor Park. This is the park I usually go to. Once I hit Edgebrook, I'm going to make a right, go down Edgebrook and go down 45. Come back around, come back to where I live. The streets over here are not the worst streets but they're not the best either. Jumping is a little sketchy in these gates. So I have to make sure each jump I do, I lean far enough forward to where I don't fall backwards. So basically everything I'm doing in these skates it's kind of sketchy at fast speeds. The slower I go, the easier it is to maneuver. The faster I go, if I make a slip, it's really gonna throw me off. So I'm gonna continue to take stuff slow for now until I get more comfortable with it. I can pretty much do a lot of the small jumps right now. A lot of mud over here. Too much mud. Sometimes I jump just for the heck of it, but most of the time there are obstacles lying in the way. I'm already at Edgebrook right now. So here's Edgebrook. That's what it looks like straight ahead of me.
picking up speeds in the speed in these skates is kind of tricky. I already feel a little more strain on my back than usual. I am almost to uh, 45 right now. These skates are definitely wearing me out. It takes more energy to stay on your two feet and keep your balance. Definitely a pair of skates that you wouldn't use for long distances. Pretty much just for short commutes. I'm always careful to look behind me when I'm crossing private driveways. If I see any cars coming, at least keep them in your peripheral, peripheral vision. So I guess you could say this is my first real vlog as far as having the right camera setup and audio. It's about 12 o'clock during the day right now. Getting around to the hottest point of the day. So definitely not an easy skate. But the humidity, humidity being about 85% here in Houston. I am rolling right next to uh, Chase Bank. Up ahead is 45. I'm gonna cut through this parking lot. Try not to nick any cars with any rocks. Asphalt roads are good for that. They send rocks flying everywhere. Starting to get used to the skates already. Careful before I go around the corner. Now, I mentioned I'm using a new setup from audio. So whether or not you're gonna be able to hear my voice through the traffic, after I view this video, I will know. This is 45. Forty-five goes all the way down to Mexico. I'm sorry, Mexico. All the way down to uh, Galveston Island here in Texas, and it also goes up to Dallas. Pretty long road. Freeway. Typically, I like to go against the traffic and not with the traffic. But I feel a little safer considering I'm on a sidewalk. I'm gonna go in front of this car. I only go in front if I have to. Most of the time I go behind. Make sure you look at the driver before you go because make sure they're paying attention.
the wheels that I am using are bullseye wheels made here in the United States. Let me go back. I'm going to show you something right here. Here's a rower blade tracks that I left in the concrete not too long ago. It wasn't on purpose. But that's what happens when you hit a patch of wet cement. Those are going to be there for a while. That was about four months ago. I'm going back into the subdivision now where it's not as noisy. Cutting back into kind of my subdivision to be honest with you. Just a different part of it. But like I was saying before, this audio, uh, this, this microphone that I am using, does uh, have a button here. This button, if it's not flipped on, you won't record anything. And I've made that mistake already to where I flip the button off by an accident when I'm holding the, the stick and I lose all audio completely. I tried this setup already with my headphones, but I didn't get no audio from it. They are a set of Bose headphones I was using. So when I found out that didn't work, I went out and bought this one from Fry's. About $60 for the setup. It's Audio Technica. Here's a dog over here, he likes to chase me. He's always here. He's here somewhere. Just waiting for me. I don't have my air horn today. But I'm trying some new skates. So I probably should have brought it. Looks like he's not around. That's good. I'll live another day. Now that I feel more comfortable in these skates, I'm gonna pick up a little speed. Let's see if I can jump some speed bumps. Oh, barely made it. Yeah, that back wheel being significantly smaller does make a difference. Makes you feel like you're gonna fall backwards. Standing up tall is not the thing to do on these skates get low further down to the ground you have a better uh, better range of not, be not better range but you have better balance better center of balance there's my buddy Thing. he's in the gate he's always there to support me <coughs> road is getting a little rougher here not too rough so I'm gonna get on the sidewalk sidewalks over here can be pretty choppy you really gotta watch yourself Going through hay. There goes my mic. Still intact. Put it back on. Whew. Getting pretty exhausted from this skate. Get low and take it slow. The next couple of skates after this, I promise they'll be more energetic. <sighs> I 
Now I am turning back into the direction of Freeway Manor Park. This little stretch I'm going is anywhere from two to three miles all the way around before I hit the park again. I'm actually almost there. I have a bigger air horn that I use. It's a industrial size air horn. That one works. The smaller air horn that I use, because I do have a smaller one, you can pretty much buy from anywhere. Walmart, five below. It doesn't have as good as an effect. It works. Some dogs I have used it on, and they just tilt their head to the side wondering what that is. But the industrial air horn is really what sent them back in their tracks. And that's when they go running away. That's what I want. But it's really big to carry. Here's the park. Whew. It's pretty hot today. I'm not carrying a backpack today. I'm not that far away from home. And if one of my wheels blows out on me, and they do blow out, I will still skate back home on the balloon out wheel, even if I blow out three or four of them. Actually, I will continue on skating until I blow them all out, and then I will skate on because I really want to finish them off. But the the wheels that came with the skate, the Labita wheels, they weren't very good quality wheels. Now I have some better ones on here, so they're not as bad. This Labita skate was only about $52 when I bought it. Here's the water fountain. This is where I stopped. 